of you doing the dumb shit that you do. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's start. Let's start with the food truck. So this nigga posted the food truck on his channel, right? Nobody forced him to post it. This is something he did of his own free will. You didn't tell him to post it. I didn't tell him to post it. Alan didn't tell him to post it. So he posted it. And you know how the sector is, nigga. They look at everything on your screen, nigga, everything. So D. Gates went and looked up that food truck, you know, figured out who the owner was and didn't see P's name on the license. So instead of taking accountability, like, damn, you know, maybe I shouldn't have doxed myself. Nigga, you you say Kip doxed you. Yes. This shit is crazy, bro. That makes sense. Now, let's think about this. Right, we're going to go back a little bit, then I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back. Well, I'm going to go a little forward, then I'm going to come back to that food truck thing. Now, when he was on your show one night, ah, hell, that was, that had to be like in November when he was talking about leaving the sector. I have the text messages going back and forth with this dude here, man, look, just stick with your food truck and work on your, on, on, on your self-development, getting yourself right. I never told him one time, don't give up on your food truck. It was all these niggas in here, the Speak Easy's, the Pillsbury's, all of them telling him to stay in this sector. And I say, man, get the fuck on, because I knew his erratic behavior. Something ain't right here. Something not adding up. Now, do you remember that shock and rock? Yeah, I do. I remember. And all- I was criticized for that. Yep, I remember that. See. Now I can I can dig it. I can dig it. Get out your feelings about how you feel about Kip. Again, I don't give two fucks about what any of you niggas care about me or anything like that. Let's let's put this shit on the examination table and let's examine it. And let's weigh the facts. And you make an intelligent decision based on facts on this dude and his behavior. Now, I understand that certain people got an agenda or want to see Shakam Ra and myself going at each other. I understand that. And that nigga is one of them. But it ain't going to work. Shock and Raw, as I said, his own man. He does his own shows. He do what the fuck he wants to do. I just try to point out things to him saying, hey, Ra, when you're under attack, pay attention to what's going on. They're trying to attack you this way here and trying to attack us this way here and try to use all these little attacks to drive a wedge in between us. You know, when someone else give money, give nice donations to channels and individuals and things like that. All that is so nice of that person. Oh, isn't that person, isn't he wonderful or isn't she wonderful? But when I do that to you in a public form, they try to twist it and say, the nigga giving money just to attack people. You have to pay attention, man. There's a lesson being taught here. This is what I talked to this man about. See, I know you niggas want the the fuckery. I know you want that. But this is what I warn him about. A nigga like a DJ dummy. No, he don't mean him no good. But then again, just get Kip away from around you. You'll be better off. He's an old man. He's a grown ass man. But he does come ask me what I think about this and what I think about that. But at the end of the day, I always tell him, hey, you got to make that final decision on what you want to do. You got the final say in this shit, but I give my advice. But it's never to give him advice or anybody that I fuck with advice that I know is going to be detrimental to them and lead them to be slaughtered. And these are facts. And anybody that knows me knows that I think for myself and I don't do group things. So. You know, it's pretty dishonest and a little insulting for him to say I'm a puppet. Like, like you're telling me what to do, what links to get on. 
I'm like, Kip, don't send me shit. If I get on the panel, it's because I felt like getting on the panel. It's because I saw the show and I wanted to talk my shit. Facts. So, yeah, I'm always have been my own person. Smoke has always been his own person. Facts. You have always been your own person, and P has always been his own person. So now, you know, he's saying, like, oh, I wonder, and he said this months ago. He was like, well, I wonder if people wouldn't view me a certain way if if I didn't associate with certain people. Like, you know, basically pointing out me, Smoke, you, and people like that. And I'm like, nigga, how people perceive you is 100% up to you. Facts. You have complete control. Little do you know, <laughs> your power. Nobody else can control how you're perceived except you. Oh, so when he did that, I was like, okay, I see where we're going, bro. I see well, we're about to play the blame game. So, yeah, you know, talk about that, you know, the blame game. Because I feel like now everybody's trying to blame you for everything. <laughs> you know, Chakra, I love it. Because I know it is a part of the art of war and um um as i as i said before no one who abuse illicit drugs no one who who abuse alcohol would never overthrow my kingdom it'll never happen mm, amen. never happen i say so let them run with they shit and let them do they shit i just let them have fun and you know i just come along stomp them out It's it's just, it's just simple, man. You can't touch me through that screen. There's nothing you can do to fuck with me. Nothing. I laugh at it. It's fun. It's a game. Or you want to play these psychological games with me? You're not gonna win. You're gonna lose in the long run. I promise you that. And all this stuff here, trying to oh, Kip should get a channel. Kip should get his channel. Kip is smart enough to know if I want to if I want to do content, I do content. I choose not to. Now, for all you all that saying I need to get a channel, I don't have to come to your shit. That's it. <laughs> Bottom line. Those that welcome me to their panels, I thank you. But I don't need nobody trying to direct me and tell me what I need to be doing. I'm 50 years old. I know what the fuck I need to be doing and what I don't need to be doing. So I do not need nobody to hold my hand and take me across the goddamn street. Them days are over. Shout out to mama. I love you. Yeah, shout out to big mama. Yeah, because I heard a lot of people saying that. And I'm like, everybody doesn't have this aspiration to be a YouTuber. You know, some people literally just here to cut the shit. And it's, they're not that invested. You know what I'm saying? Like Gates. Like, yeah, Gates has a channel, but he's not going live every day on his channel. The man is running the business. So y'all got to understand that everybody don't got time to create a channel. Everybody don't got the space to do it. And you can't really try to force somebody to create a channel. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's just another distraction. You know, th they don't want you talking. Basically, no. they don't want you on the panel. No. <clears throat> they want you limited to one one place, you know, instead of you being able to go from panel to panel like everybody else. Make it Absolutely. make sense. Absolutely. You just spoke them out for the people can do what they want to do, but they feel as though that, hey, they try to limit you. And uh, like I said, then again, I use this, 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 this all the time, you know, just try to drive this wedge between us. This is what this is what is all about. But I love it because that way I can always point things out to shock and run that he may not see. That's when I that's when the wisdom kick in at. Now, whether he accept it, whether he embrace it, that's on him. But I see it coming a mile away. And he know that I've been talking to him about things with, with people like P and all the rest of these people. Man, I, I see what's going on, man. I'm not stupid. Just give it time. It's going to unfold itself. Let it just let it blossom. But I see it. I'm not stupid. Yeah, I mean, let those who have eyes to see, let them see. And, you know, everybody else can remain blind. But this brings me to drama because, 
you know, a lot of the stuff that I'm hearing, like even when I was listening to P, I was like, um, is P talking right now or is DJ Drama talking? Because he kept saying like, oh, you know, Kip is making you look bad and Kip is this and Kip is that and Kip is holding you down from being great and stuff like that. And wow. I'm like, Drama has been using this same talking point, you know, for the past six months. You know what I'm saying? But then Drama also admitted that he loved the fuck shit and that yeah. he loved the fuckery. You know what I'm saying? So the hypocrisy coming from Drama who said, don't dox. And the the people over there are supporting you doxing and doing all of this fuckboy shit. Then the nigga turn around and dox every Friday. Every Friday. Every Friday. Nobody go over there and say nothing to him about the doxing. Nobody say nothing. Not a word. Not a word. Not a word. Oh, let's let's go back. I, I missed something, Rob, because, uh, you know, he loves saying that you carry my water and things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk. About yeah, yeah, he yeah, that that P, he was saying you carry my water. Uh, uh, you contacted me because he was like Saturday when you when we talked about Nikki and things like that. And you was on some show. Uh, did you contact me, say, around five o'clock in the morning? And I was asleep. I wanted I wouldn't know I wouldn't want no fucking D the real know what they was fucking doing. Didn't know anything about it. But he think that I sent you over there to defend me. Nothing. No know what the fuck was going on. Yeah, he's talking about sexy toilet he show. Oh, that's what it, yeah, sexy toilet. Yeah, I'm getting mixed up. Yeah, sex toilet. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Me anywhere. You didn't send me anywhere. Uh, I got up on that panel on my own. And, and this is the thing. I have my own personal reasons for roasting this bitch ass nigga D Darrell. I got a list of reasons. Kip ain't a reason. You know what I'm saying? So I really went up there to roast D Darrell. And of course, your name came up because, you know, the nigga's still up here acting like he didn't actually send you some money. So yeah. that's what that was about. It didn't have anything to do with you sending me around to panels at three, four, or five o'clock in the morning crazy man i mean come on man that i mean for people to insinuate that god damn man that's really fucked up i mean that is fucked up yeah i mean i don't expect nothing less from t pre because she's running interference oh yeah she's running interference for Darrell because you know she really trying to make the sector believe that this was proof positive that you know you got a check from Dita Rowe. This this is what she she says is a receipt. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. T Free, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you, baby. Do your thing. Keep on getting your money how you get it, baby. I ain't mad at you. Do your thing. Yeah, keep getting that money from that nigga. Cause you wouldn't uh, be the only get money that ain't here for that nigga no pussy. So shout out to you and shout out to Robbie and um all the women of the world that's getting this money because a lot of people will sell their soul for you know 30 pieces of silver. A lot of people will put their reputation, their professional reputation on the line. They will put their credibility on the line for a couple hundred dollars. You know, they'll, they'll say that this is bona fide proof positive that you should pay somebody one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So, you know, that's where we are in the sector. Yeah, Everybody sad ain't it, man. Interference from the fact that TCTV got exposed. Yeah, it's sad, bro. It's really sad, you know. Hey, man, I get it. If if, if he wanted to get his shits and giggles, and like I say, get a couple of. Uh, uh, super chats and cash apps in to take to the supposedly Janice house. All right, man, how you fun? How you fun? But you know, if you really want to get down to business, uh, go to your bank with this supposedly uh, check or whatever the fuck you saying this is. Go and get the real McCoy, the the full transaction of his leaving your bank going to my bank. Go do that, deed real. But Kip, he's showing a personal check, but he said it was a cashier's check. So we got to figure out 
if it's a cashier's check or if it's a personal check first. <laughs> it's not well, you know, you know, we, yeah, that's that's yeah, I know, but you know, you you have to go in, you know, the banks write you cashier checks. It don't don't look nothing like that. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, you just let people, like I say, man, you just let people dig a hole for themselves, let them talk, and let them, you know, make fools of themselves, and you know, I'm cool with it, man. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. If that's what he wanted a show, hey, man, he gave the sector a show. I mean, ha, 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 ha. But, you know, we know D.D.R.L. is a broke-ass nigga anyway, so he ain't, he ain't got it no way. So, you know, uh, 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 you know, nigga, move on to something else, man. Go on back over to the goddamn Manusfield, nigga. And, uh, you know, put your muscles on over there. But, you know, you know, goddamn it, you can't bully me, nigga. So. On God, and he can't bully me either. And he can't intimidate a nigga like me either. So, with all of that being said, this is all, it's been amazing what people will do to distract, right? Because again, uh, the main story was what you showed about TCTV begging for money. So, Absolutely. because, you know, we he don't want to tell the truth or he's not man enough to actually come up here and, and tell everybody that TC's a broke, begging ass, bum ass nigga. Facts. He would rather make up a lie. And, you know, audition for the Oscars and shit and, you know, just do the most, nigga, to distract from the truth. So, like I said, that nigga is a dangerous therapist because I wouldn't get no therapy, no therapy from that nigga. He might lie to me. He might. Who knows what he will do if he do some stupid ass shit like this. Yeah, that's right. Need real. You need to come clean this up, man. You really need to go get make your image look a little bit better, man. And uh Please, man, stop it. I'm asking you to stop um, real kindly. Stop with the foolishness. Stop saying that you that you loaned me money and you know you didn't. So I'm giving you every, every opportunity, man, to clean it up and stop it. Please stop it, man. Enough of the show. You gave the sector a good show. You and T Prehab and great. It's good. It's a great show you did. Poor acting job that you've done. But, man, stop it. I'm asking you to stop. So I just want to put that on the record. Yes. That's on the record. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, every time I look at this check, I see something different. Um, I saw a face, you know, and speak easy starting to see faces in this check, nigga. So <laughs> <laughs> what these look like hieroglyphics to you, nigga. <laughs> Uncle Justin there, Rick M, nigga. <laughs> I see, I see the eye glyph, nigga. I see the my aunt. I see, I see the Hebrew too, nigga. Like I see the Chinese. I see. <laughs> this look like the I Ching Oracle, my nigga. <laughs> you all know what the I Ching is, but shout out to those that know what that is. This looks like the Book of Changes because you know I've I seen a lot on this check, but I definitely didn't see, you know, your name. And you know they think niggas is so simple minded. So they just going to say, his initials is D.W. Oh, my God. That nigga initials is D, and his last name start with a W. I wrote that check, and yeah, I know I knew, I knew I loaned that nigga money. Like, you know, simple-minded-ass Negroes think that they could just do simple-minded-ass shit, and then when we don't accept it, you know, we, we, we should shut the fuck up, and we should be excommunicated from yeah. the same. Make it make sense. I know, bro. And then you know, man, for Rob, from day one, I called you. You know, my government name shows up. If anybody got any ID call, my government name shows up. So come on, man. Stop it, D real. Stop it. I have nothing to hide, man. Nothing at all. So, so I don't know. You know, you gonna you, you I'm just asking you just stop with the bullshit. The side show is over with, bro. And uh go on and start putting yourself on some other content, bro. That's it. Yeah, that's that's pathetic. I mean, you got all of this intelligence and, you know, you claim you're so great at YouTube. You've been on YouTube all of these years and this is your content, my nigga. This is your content. You know, a receipt that looks like one eye, some big ass nostrils and a mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like he really, you know, again, these niggas think they can do simple minded ass shit because they think they're dealing with simple minded ass Negroes. But everybody's not a simple-minded ass Negro. So with that being said, uh, let's see. We covered that. We talked about 
you know, how how all of this came about, what really happened behind the scenes. Um, now, oh, yeah, one other thing that, you know, we probably didn't mention yet was G Gates. So mm. when uh, G Gates did that video and he said P was crying behind the scenes, Gates was actually trolling. Yes. P. But P yeah. didn't know that he was being trolled, right? So I believe after that, that's when, you know, he really started escalating and like, you know, getting more and more combative. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, you can you can say that. But, you know, a person know, you know, P and I conversated on the phone and things like that. So he should know, man, he should know that. But it's just what he wanted to believe. See, that is the that is the that that's the that's the crazy part of it is what he wanted to believe is he already had an agenda for me. You see what I'm saying? Now, he had said so much about all the shit that we have talked about. He's talked about all that kind of shit. But what the question remains, Pete, what have I done to you? The question remains, will he answer it? We'll see. Will he answer